got it going in his younger years Always wished it would be his life Okay, so let's tackle the uh, cupboard job here. Um, I knew this was going to have to be repaired when I bought the boat. Uh, I could already see it. It was a bit of an issue. Uh, I just kept delaying and delaying and delaying. So as you can see, because of the, the must have been water getting in from the porthole there, you know, you can see the, the rot uh, in this material. It's all rotten and sagging um, and down there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip it all down. And I'm hoping to God it's a pretty easy fix. What I'm going to try and do is eliminate the uh, speakers and the ends. Uh, we don't need them. We have a Bluetooth uh, speaker run through the phone. Um, so that will create more storage. And what I'm hoping to do is just simply tear the whole shelving unit apart and basically duplicate it with brand new wood. Um, so hopefully, you know, because I'm not rebuilding it from scratch, I'm hoping that it's a relatively simple job. But as I've realized with boating, there really is no such thing. So uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so that side was held in just with three screws. This side, of course, is a little different. If you guys can see it in there, there's bolts and they have little lock nuts on. So I've taken the lock nuts off, but to get to the other side of the bolt, you have to remove this little piece right here. So you just remove the buttons that are on top of the screws. I'm going to unscrew that panel. That should allow me to get the bolt out. And if we're that lucky, this whole thing should just fall down and it's going to be removed. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it wasn't quite like I expected. I didn't have to take that panel off. You just had to pull the cupboards down. You can see a little bit of mess. Not as bad as I thought though. Like that's not terrible. That Most of that will just wipe right off with the uh, magic eraser. But here you can see how rotten this stuff is that's gross like it's so wet and there's more so this is going to get replaced and we're going to have that fixed you know boats they're a pain in the ass they're they're certainly fun but they are a pain in the ass but what i'm realizing is at least with a 30 foot boat it's manageable and the more you fix it the more you get into your boat the more you know your boat and uh, the more comfortable you are with it because you fixed it you know how to fix it so uh anyways uh step one is complete let's hope i can uh, rebuild this uh, i'll just show you the uh, materials we're using here so um we're going to reuse the sliders here they still work so we're gonna reuse that gonna reuse the hinges they're fine um, these knobs we're not gonna reuse uh, some of them work some of them don't and uh, they're like these are like 50 bucks to replace them so uh, what I decided to do uh, was just go and for like four bucks get a knob like this now what I didn't realize is these just screw off so if somebody wanted to just do a simple knob you could just reuse that um, and then rather than the lock and catch I've come up with uh, just a double uh, magnetic catch and I thought that would be fine uh, with us 
we never use these cabinets for like heavy goods it's always light stuff like buns bread uh, snacks for the kids uh, stuff like that chips so we're never worried about it um, falling out and uh, the magnetic catches uh, should should help so um, we got that they used this vinyl to uh, cover the back end of it um, so I'm not going to be able to reuse that but what I do have here is just some sheeting nice and thin nice and light and I'm going to use that for the back um, I don't like the uh, what is this they put like a veneer on it you can see it here as well and I don't really like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo the doors this is 3 quarter inch uh, by 12 inch in a 48 uh, inch section. It's just project panel and it's uh, pure uh, spruce so it's no plywood and uh, I want that for the finished product on the door. Um, and then you can see here all they used was just half inch plywood. So I'm going to duplicate that but I'm going to seal it. Uh, where is it here? I have Olympic water guard and it repels water, it's a water sealant, it's clear so I'm hoping with a very light sand I can uh, paint over top of that and get a nice white finish. Something else to think about is I don't know if you can see it here, yeah I guess you can. It's wide on the one end and then it gets very narrow on the other end and then what it does of course is it actually gets wider here so this let's just say this is uh, eight and three quarter inches wide it gets wide to like nine inches here before it gets uh, thinner again at the other end so these are things that I didn't realize and I guess it's to uh, you know conform to the contours of the boat I don't know how important it is to duplicate that maybe you guys can tell me in the comments um i'm gonna go under the keep it simple uh stupid um idea because i've never done this before and i'm just gonna try and recreate exactly what they've got here so anyways uh the dimensions on the top of course are different than the dimensions on the bottom so be aware of that so when i went to the home depot uh, the cool thing with Home Depot, if you don't have all the tools, uh, they just cut the pieces for you. So I got them to cut the different dimensions for me, and I'll fine-tune it with a jigsaw. So, so yeah, that's the materials that I have. That's kind of what I've found so far. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get busy, uh, get this cleaned up, and looking like new. All right. So here's some of the progress. I'm pretty happy with that. That uh, doesn't look terrible. So uh, all my pieces are cut. I've mocked it up just to make sure everything fits and everything does fit. So it looks really good. So the next thing I got to do now is take it apart. We've got what some sandpaper here to clean it up. And then I'm going to start sealing it with this uh, clear water seal. Um, you can see it does taper off. Um, and that does conform to the boat shape. And what I did to get that is I just measured the width of the top and the bottom at every support as we went across. And that kind of really helped me get the right curvature on the uh, cupboard so that uh, it does fit the boat. So, so yeah, there's the progress so far. I'm uh, pretty happy with that. So uh, we'll keep going here. Well, it's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog. It's all for me beer and tobacco. For I spent all me tin with the lassies drinking gin Far across the western ocean I must wander Now where are me boots, me noggin' noggin' boots They're all gone for beer and tobacco For the heels they are worn out and 
the toes are kicked about And the soles are looking out for better weather And it's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog It's all for me beer and tobacco So I've got my uh, doors all cut and fitted Everything fits the way I want it here and now I'm just measuring um, about two inches up from the bottom and just measuring the middle of each door and placing the knobs on there, marking where I'm going to put the knobs. So uh, that's sort of the next step. We'll get the uh, knobs all prepped and then it's sanding and uh, priming and painting the doors. But uh, there's, you know, we're coming along. Okay, and we're moving right along here. We've got the back on, all the supports in, sanded, painted, ready for installation. I took magic erasers and cleaned off the vinyl in behind as best I could. And uh, now we're going to uh, install this. Here is the uh, cabinet reinstallation. Um, it's all done. It's not perfect. Uh, it was a bit of a learning curve. Uh, it was overwhelming in the beginning, but if you just take your time, do your research, uh, you can rebuild it. Um, I bet you I spent maybe $400 in material. Um, and like I said, it's not perfect, but it's definitely going to do what I've asked it to. Um, I went with the piano hinges instead of the uh, more elaborate ones that came with it. Uh, they were a pain in the ass, and I just lost my patience with them. Um, knowing what I know now, I'm probably next fall, if I have a bit of time, I'm probably going to rip these out and redo them again with what I know now. I think I can do a much better job, but, uh, this will be fine enough, uh, for our next season and, uh, I'm happy with it, all things considered. So any, uh, comments or anything, just leave them in the comment section and, uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.